What's up? It's Tom. Thanks so much for being here. No twins, no big club tonight. Uh, Thursday system recap, but maybe maybe the best minor league night of the season, possibly. As you can see here, we're going to take a look at some highlights of Zebby Matthews and Corey Lewis. Let's just lead off with that. Zebby, first batter he faced of the night for the Saints, hits a home run off of him. You know, obviously not the way he wanted to start, but that's the only run he gave up was his outing. So he really locked in, uh, was really getting a lot of whiffs with his fastball, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Uh, but he goes five innings, two hits, one run, one walk, five strikeouts on 74 pitches. Probably could have gone the sixth, but I think it was nice that they just sort of let it be what it was for him. Um, and I think they had a bit of a, a road map tonight, which we'll also talk about that in a sec. Uh, they had a guy they wanted to get work in, I, f I feel like. But Zebby. Again, uh, got seven swinging strikes with his four-seam fastball, topped out at 97.5 miles per hour with that pitch. Uh, threw 18 cutters, 24% of his pitches were cutters. That's really really his biggest secondary pitch along with the four-seamer. But you can see a pretty deep arsenal. So when it's maybe a lefty in there, you know he's got, he's got some different looks for different guys. Corey Lewis also pitched really well this evening. Six innings, two hits, one run. It was unearned, three walks, nine strikeouts for Corey Lewis on 87 pitches. So he's finally fully stretched out, fully healthy, uh, kind of got a slow start to this year. I believe it was back issues. Um, and is back to you know being the guy who was the Twins minor league pitcher of the year last year. Looking awesome for Wichita. Tons of swings and misses for Corey Lewis tonight. He always been walking some guys, but again, this was such a great thing to see him back in full form, going six innings, throwing 87 pitches. Um, you know, and on top of all that, he also made his double-A debut this year. Um, but as you see, his two outings in August so far, there were signs in July. He had a really rough outing in July that kind of wiped out his month in terms of stats, but has not given up a earned run in either of his starts so far this month. Ten innings, no earned runs. That's with 14 strikeouts for Corey Lewis. This is the guy I was referring to, Giovanni Gallegos, who was one of the best setup men in baseball for a few years for the Saints. Got released. The Twins signed him to a minor league contract. He pitched a clean inning for the Saints um, with a nice play here by Edward Julian at first base. Mixing in a bit at first, making a really nice belly flop play there. Throw across there from Bannon. Uh, corrals that in there. You know, Ed... Obviously not super comfortable there. But Giovanni Gallegos, you know, we'll see if he can reinvent himself. Used to throw 94, used to sit 94, I should say, back when he was elite as a setup man. You see now he's more sitting 92. Um, anyway, this game was tied 1-1 until Jair Camargo came up with the bases loaded and one out. In the bottom of the ninth for the Saints and walked it off. Jair Camargo, king of vibes, walk off king, crown him. Crown him. He, he was who we thought he was, Jair Camargo, the king. He's the king around here. I love that guy. Gigantic smiles. So much fun. Oh, man, this put a, this was just a great way to cap. This was the last thing that happened on the night, baseball-wise. What a great way to end it. Put a huge smile on my face, especially considering all the awesome pitching that there was. We looked at Matthews, we looked at Lewis, but Tanner Hall was awesome too. I don't have highlights of him to show you, but seven innings of two-hit ball, no runs, one walk, seven strikeouts on 90 pitches for Tanner Hall. Um, I believe that was the first time a Mighty, Mighty Muscles pitcher went seven this year. So seven shutout innings for Tanner Hall, seven strikeouts. As you see in my little note there, 39 strikeouts in his last 26 and two-thirds innings. That's a 13.2 K per nine for Tanner Hall. Um, that's July and August combined. Just a tremendous changeup that he has. Uh, fastball velocity isn't going to wow you. He's probably mostly around 90. Um, so, you know, that's that's got to find a way to get that up. I think for him to really be more viable. I don't want to say taken seriously because, I mean, you, you do this, I don't care who you are, you know. You're facing a bunch of professional hitters and you, you throw seven shutout innings and you're striking out, you know, 39 guys in your last 26 and two-thirds innings. Um, I don't really care what you're throwing, velo-wise, but um, if you're wondering why he's maybe not more highly touted or highly thought of, um, that's part of it. 
Um, you know, he got off to a slow start this year. That's certainly part of it too, but uh, definitely going to turn some heads if he can continue this. And obviously, you know, if you, if you, if you miss the lines from Zebby and Lewis, th- those two guys were amazing tonight as well. So what an outstanding show for the pitching pipeline. A day after, I was just gushing about how good Andrew Morris and and Charlie Soto have been. We don't want to count our eggs before they hatch, um, but it really is starting to feel like that Falvey pitching pipeline that we were expecting all those years ago when he first started is really showing up. I don't remember. I don't remember the pitching pipeline, the, the system having this good of pitching. Um, there's not a time that I've been paying really close attention. And you know, you can look back, and there was a lot of. There have been a lot of guys we were excited about back. You know, back in the day, who who fell on their face, but. I don't. Uh, there's never been this many guys throwing this well, um, not in my time of following the system. So, moving on over to hitting performances, just want to kind of remind you again: Kyle Farmer's on rehab assignment with the Saints. He went two for three with a walk and a double. Uh, played shortstop for like I think seven innings or something. So played the field. So he should be back with the Twins before too long. You know, as a as a, a prospect focused channel, uh, I don't think there's not always a lot of love. Uh, for guys like Farmer, because they're lot, in some degrees, you can look at them as kind of being in the way, but uh, brings a really good skill to the Twins, hits lefties, and is a leader and is a mentor. Tanner Schobel homered again. You can see my note down there. He now has six homers in his last 20 games after only hitting two homers in his first 70 games of the season. So um, pretty pretty nice to see him rounding out as the season progresses here and kind of looking more like we had hoped he's not you know he's not going to salvage his season numbers it's it's too late for that he's going to have a pretty bad season unfortunately um but you know if he can end this year in a high note and carry that momentum forward that could be huge brandon winnaker homered and stole a base um you know a teenager with nine home runs in the Florida State League, you know, going to get to double digits hopefully one more away. I think that's a pretty big deal. A guy who's only 19 years old, about to get and t- 10 home runs doesn't seem like a lot, but when you consider the Florida State League, um, it is a big deal. And facing more advanced pitching than he's ever seen in his life. Him being outside of my top 10 Twins prospects really speaks volumes to how good the system is. This is a guy I really, really like. Usually that type of player who has this type of upside would be comfortably inside my top 10. I have him 11th right now. And, you know, the one thing I can't do is really talk a lot about how the Twins rank in terms of MLB. But luckily there have been a few resources this week or so that came out. Um, ESPN and Baseball America uh, both did their sort of post-draft minor league system ranking updates and the twins were i think in the top five in all of baseball in both of those so this is considered a top five system in all of baseball right now um and again it's it's guys like brandon winnaker definitely contribute to that um pretty impressive i don't want to give all all of that stuff away because in both cases at espn and baseball america those are behind paywalls so you you've heard me talk a lot about how uh, a huge step forward. I think the top 10 uh, has come this year compared to years past. Um, so things are looking really, really good right now. So just a super positive day. Uh, great, great day. Uh, no twins game. So uh, not, nothing to go over there, but obviously rest up tonight. Cause we got a, we got a big day tomorrow, double header tomorrow against Cleveland. Uh, it's going to be huge. And this entire weekend series is going to be huge too. But thanks for hanging out with me today, having some fun, talking some minor leagues. We'll talk again tomorrow.